Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. Today is the Totally Techniques blog hop. It is my favorite blog hop of the month. Today we are going to be featuring water coloring, all different kinds of water coloring. There are so many water coloring techniques we can use with our paper crafts. I chose to use the Bright Bobbles today and oh my goodness, I'm gonna show you this stamp set and all the fabulous dyes that go with it. I am having so much fun with this watercolor. Let's flip our camera around so I can show you how to do it. Here comes the Bright Bobbles stamp set. Now, I love stamps with big greetings in them. And I'm having a lot of fun with these big images too. We have several greetings in here. There's a total of 12 stamps, some really pretty little, um, elements to add to your cards, a bow, two big baubles, and again, the greetings. The funnest part about this stamp set or bundle for me are the dies. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these. You get this one and this one and this one. And then there are backgrounds that you can die cut to go behind the intricate dies. We have this pretty little bow on a string. And then if you put this die inside of this die, you can cut out this. And same here, this die inside of this die, die cut them together and you get this. So lots of really cool elements in here. And I'm gonna show you some neat things to do with these. I'm gonna bring in all of my cardstock elements. Before we get started, if you are in the United States and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. This is my blog where you can find all kinds of video tutorials, um, still photos, dimensions for all the projects we're gonna make. And at the end of this video, there's gonna be a link right up here that you can click on that'll take you right to my blog where you can subscribe to it. So you'll get an email every time I add something new to my blog. And you'll get to see all of the goodies. There's links there to go to my online store. This is my current code for the month. If you place an order under $150, I ask that you please use this code. This really helps me out and be able to give away door prizes and stuff like that for all kinds of stamping that I do. Okay, we are going to start with basic black cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. And I'm just going to grab my bone folder and burnish that edge good. Then I'm going to be using this gorgeous bedazzling specialty paper. This is free until the end of September or while supplies last. You get eight sheets of this in six by six. It's free when your order reaches $50 before tax and shipping. So this is part of our celebration promotion. So I've got this layer. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and it is going to go along with my watercolor paper. Let me see if I can, oh, here it is. Fluid 100 watercolor paper. This is 100% cotton. It is fantastic for watercoloring. And you get 10 sheets, and I think they're mm, five by seven. So five, whoops, five by seven. Oh, math is hard, right? It's kind of math. <laughs> five by seven, 10 sheets of this in a pack. So we've got watercolor paper, then I've got a layer for the inside, and this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I don't know yet if we're gonna use Mango Melody, no, Mango Melody or Melon Mambo, but we're gonna pick one of those after we do our watercolor technique. So I wanna get to that first. What I'm gonna do, oops, let me get my hair out of the screen for Pete's sakes. I feel like a shedding dog lately. <laughs> I've got a size, what size is this? This is an E block, okay? And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to bring in my ink pad. I've got Mango Melody and Melon Mambo, and I am going to add ink to the middle of my block. And I'm just pushing that ink pad right on here. It doesn't have to be anything pretty. Then I'm gonna grab that Mango Melody, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Mel Melon Mambo, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time today with words, and we're gonna 
just push it up there to where we left off with the mango melody. Now, this is where the fun part comes in. I am going to grab one of our spritzers. These are really nice because it gives you a super fine mist and you get two of these in a package. They're really um, relatively inexpensive. I don't know, they're like three or four dollars. So I am going to spray this onto my block and you wanna get it fairly wet. I just wanna kinda of show you, that's pretty wet, right? Now I'm gonna bring in my watercolor paper, flip it upside down and we're going to stamp it right in the middle and Oh my goodness, can you see that gorgeous color? Now you wanna leave it here for just a bit so that soaks into that watercolor paper. But look at how pretty that is. Now if you pick it up too soon, you're gonna have puddles at the sides. If that happens, don't panic. See that right here? Just have a tissue ready and you can just put it in there and absorb that extra liquid just like that, okay? Then I'm going to take this and just wipe it off. Now, if you want to, you can use a baby wipe. You can take it to the sink and rinse it, but that's all I'm going to do to that. Now we can hit this with the heat tool. You can hold it up, see how it's running a little bit. Each one of these that you do is gonna be different. And again, the key is don't be afraid of that water. This is very absorbent paper. And if you don't get enough water on it, you're not gonna have this beautiful, like almost, um, ombre or tie-dyed effect. So give it some tries on some scraps. If you're you know, concerned about using up your watercolor paper, just use some little scraps and get a feel for it. But you saw how super simple that was, right? Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little die cutting. So I am, I have a piece of basic black. This is a scrap here. And we're going to die cut the Merry and Bright bobble on there. And then we're going to take this layer that is for the front of our card of the Bedazzling Specialty Paper. And I'm going to die cut the Joy die right out of the middle of this layer. I'll be right back, hang tight. Okay, here comes a layer we're gonna use on the front of our card. Now I like to keep my dies, my dyed um, cardstock in my die while I use my die cut brush. And that way I can be a little more aggressive when I'm running this over than you can if you didn't have that metal on here to kind of buffer. So these dies are super nice. Everything just pretty much falls right out of them. And I think, oh, there's a couple more pieces right up here. Kind of hard to see on this glitter, glimmer paper. Is that it? I think that's it. Look at how pretty that is, right? Okay. Now we've got a few more things to do before we're ready to roll with our elements. One of them is to stamp the inside of the card. So I am going to, oh, where did that black one go? There's the black one, the black one, the black one. Here's the black one. Okay, so this was the other bauble that I just die cut. Here it is, merry and bright, okay? So what I wanna do with this is I just want those words. I don't want this whole thing. So I am just going to take my paper snips and I am going to trim this out of here. And you just kind of trim around the edge of the letters where it's attached to the other elements on the die. Okay, so what I wanna do is I want to add this to that basic white layer. And I have taken the wishing you a and Christmas words out of here and I have mounted them so that they will fit right around here. So what we have to decide before we do that is what color do we want to go under this inside layer for the inside of our card? Do we wanna go with Melon Mambo? Or do we wanna go with Mango Melody? Gosh, I think we're gonna go with Mango Melody and I am going to lay this in here. I'm not gonna fasten it down yet. We're gonna use Melon Mambo ink. 
and we're going to ink up these two words on our stamp and we're going to come in here and we're going to stamp them oops i got some edges hang tight i'm going to wipe this off with um, a baby wipe because i pushed too hard in my ink you can see i've got lines there that's never going to work and that's why we didn't glue anything down yet. My golden rule, don't glue anything down until you're done with all the stamping. So we've got this, and now I'm gonna come in here and try this again. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready to adhere this. Okay, now if you have any of the adhesive backing to turn this into a sticker, that's not a bad idea but I didn't do that. So I am just going to add a little bit of my liquid glue. Actually, I'm gonna grab my silicone craft mat. This is gonna give me a much better area to glue. I just have a sponge dauber here and I'm gonna put some glue on this intricate die. And we're gonna glue this right inside our card. Isn't that cute? Yeah, this is really fancy. Now we're gonna adhere this to our Mango Melody. The Mango Melody is four by five and a quarter. And we've got this white layer that's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Well, this is gonna go inside our card. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing that I wanted to do. We've got this little image with these little, like, I don't know, sparkly deals all over. And I think I want to add a couple little sparkly deals. I just thought that would be, it's like, ooh, a little pretty. All right, now we can glue this inside our card. Got a, that black card base is really popping with all these bright colors. All right, next up, I'm gonna save this for something else, but we are going to take this layer and now I'm gonna use my Seal Plus and I'm just gonna run this around. Oops, did I just run out? I don't know, let's see. Oh, here comes some. Run this around the outside of my watercolor layer. There we go. I'm not pushing on it. There we go. <laughs> I'm not pushing on it good enough. Okay, so we're gonna put this right on here and you're just gonna have that little bit of sparkle popping out. And cutting that um, bobble out of the middle is a great way to conserve on your paper, right? We didn't need another piece to do that. Okay. Last but not least, we have a little black strip here. This is about a half an inch. It just needs to be as long as your sentiment. So I've got Merry and Bright. We're gonna stamp that in Versamark ink. We are going to white emboss it. Oops, hang on. Kind of stuck my finger in it. There we go. I always like to blow it off a little bit just to get those extra little powders off of there. And if you have any that are hanging on, you can bring a little brush in. There we go. Okay. Isn't that just spectacular? I love it. Now we're going to heat set that. And we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. This is a fairly simple card and you can make up a bunch of these in various colors. I've got another color to share with you today, but you can make up um, a bunch of these in various colors and just set them aside, let them dry, and then you'll be ready to make cards. One other thing I forgot to die cut is this bow with the string. I'm gonna get that done and I'll be right back. And here we go with that cute little bow. Now what I wanted to do with this is I'm gonna thread it through my bobble and I'm gonna pull it up here and then we're gonna see where we're gonna put that. I'm gonna add 
some mini dimensionals to the back of this bauble. And you might need to trim these if they're sticking out. I see I missed one little piece here. There it goes. Okay. Hang on, we'll get this, we'll get this together yet. This is such a pretty, pretty card. And do one more right there. You don't need a lot. It's gonna hold it on here. I just want to make sure that they're hidden. I've got, this is my take your pick tool. I like to use this to take the backing off my dimensionals among other things. And now we're gonna put this back through here. Don't pull it too hard. You don't wanna break it off. But here comes our joy, just like that. And then we're gonna take this and fold it right over the top and secure it with a little bit of tape. Oh my goodness, what do you guys think? Isn't that crazy? Pretty cool looking. All right, like I said, I've got one more color combination to share with you. I did some blues and greens. We're gonna put this right on the front of our black card base. Oh, so pretty, right? Now this is just one way to, whoops. This is just one way to, oh my goodness. This is just one way to watercolor with a block like that and your inks. Here comes the other one that I made. This one is Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green. So I put the Bermuda Bay here and here, the Granny Apple in the middle, and then sprayed that block and pressed it on there. This one uses the Snowflake Bubble and this one uses the joy, but they're both the same on the inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, those are my watercolor projects for today. Please make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything that I have coming out. Also, you're gonna find a link right up here. When you click on that, it's gonna take you to my blog post with these projects. You're gonna find all the dimensions. You're gonna find a complete shopping list where you can click on the different products. This again is the bright baubles and the delicate bauble, baubles dies. And they are, you can order them in a bundle or separately, but these are all the dies that you get. This little, this little die that's in here, it's a, you get two of them, these little things. I was like, what are those for? Well, this is solid and you can die cut the little um, hole out of there. So all of these, you can do all of these dies with the set of dies called Delicate Baubles. What a beautiful, beautiful set, right? Now, please let me know if you do not have a demonstrator, I would be happy to send you our current catalogs. We have celebration going on right now. You can get this bedazzling specialty designer series paper free when your order hits $50. So you can order this, you can maybe get yourself uh, a couple of spritzers and some watercolor paper. You're gonna qualify for the bedazzling. If you are in the United States, I always appreciate your orders. If you're not in the United States, please check out the other demonstrators that are in this blog hop. And if you don't have one, you can order through them. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.